Don't do what I did. <laughs> <laughs> and don't do what Ash did. Being able to adapt to the game and, and you know the manager making changes with the right changes in the game and just someone you know from the players point of view that you can trust um, and obviously from the fans someone that they like. If you're a manager that can keep people happy or as people as happy as possible I think that's a hell of a hell of a trait to have. There's always big decisions to make but yeah if you've got the trust of the players and you can keep people on side I think that's always a, a great place to start really. It's important that you've got a connection with the manager with the staff with the team I think that's what makes a successful team if you've got that cohesion there and you all get on I think it's it's a healthy environment for people to have a laugh with each other the best managers that I've played for the ones that have good relationships with their players um, the players normally go a little bit extra for them as well so it's important that they um, interact with the players and you know get some kind of relationship because when times get tough it's you know you'll probably give a little bit more for a manager that you know, you spent time with and you know a little bit about and he knows a little bit about you. Yeah, as an inter international manager, it's tough. I think a lot of the managers will always try and get to as many games as they can between international breaks to watch the guys that he's thinking about selecting or to, to just keep in touch with. Certainly, you know, Gareth, I know he'll, he'll probably go and watch the and speak to the kind of like the main leaders in the group a fair bit to keep in touch with people and I think when we are together we, we cover we cover so much stuff during a, an international break that um, when you kind of revisit it next time it's just like you know just like um, picking up where you left off. You're actually living with everyone for at least seven days or ten days at a time so it's not like club football where you see your manager for or your players for a couple of hours you you, you eat three meals a day with them you're around the hotel so you know in that in that time you have a lot more conversations probably with with different people that you wouldn't normally the managers the international ones do touch base with you I know I speak to Ryan Giggs a lot on the phone mostly and you know we meet up sometimes and it was the same with Chris Coleman so you know you put you're always planning the next camp or reviewing the last camp when a new manager manager comes in it's it's a fresh start for everyone so I think it can sometimes give everyone a bit of a, a clean slate a bit of a boost if you like to, to start again certainly when a new manager comes in I'm sure all the players in, in the squad would say that you do look out for their style of play or you do pay attention to, to the way that they work because you know that might be the way things are going to be for a long time when a new manager comes in the main thing is everyone wants to impress him straight away so everyone gives everyone a bit of a lift the whole building and um, he wants to impress himself on the players as well so as Jack said it's a fresh start for everyone and um, you probably know the manager anyway and what style he likes to play so it's just about I think everyone trying to buy into whatever he's trying to do and you know try and give it your best go. Try and set a good environment to come to work in every day and try and listen to the players with what they want. If I was a manager I'd try and create as good an environment as possible, one that people enjoyed and could work hard in and then I think when you, when you gain that respect and that trust from people that they'll buy into whatever philosophy or style of play that you, you choose to go down. So just do what I did, really. Yeah. Here we go, finish. <laughs> Get in there, my son. Don't do what I did. <laughs> and don't do what Ash did. <laughs>